Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. So let's start. Example 6. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 2 will be on and LED 1 will be off. If switch 3 is on, then LED 3 will be on and LED 2 will be off. If switch 4 is on, then LED 4 will be on and LED 3 will be off. Note, do not turn the switches off once turned on. That means, when at first switch 1 is turned on, LED 1 gets on. And then, without turning off the switch 1, Switch 2 is turned on, then the LED 1 will turn off and LED 2 will turn on. And then without turning off switch 1 and switch 2, switch 3 is turned on, then LED 2 becomes off and LED 3 turns on. And then switch 4 is turned on that turns off the LED 3 and turns on LED 4. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts to turn on the LEDs and normally close contacts to turn off the LEDs. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw the ladder diagram for this example and also do the simulation. So this is the interface of TI portal. So firstly, let's go to PLC tags, default tag table, and then we have four inputs, switch one, switch two, and switch three, and switch four. So I will add the first one as switch 1 and then I will click on this corner and drag it to here. So switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4 will be automatically fast. And then I have 4 LEDs. For that I will add the first one as LED 1, LED 1 and then I will click on here and drag it to here. So LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be automatically fast. Before that, I will change the address here as Q0.0 .0, and then I will drag it to here like this. So LED2, LED3 and LED4 will be automatically fast. So then I will minimize this and I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will zoom in like this and then so firstly, I will insert a coil here for LED1. So I will write L and L1, LED1 here. And then LED1 gets on when switch 1 gets on. So I will insert a normally open contact here. So I will type S and select switch 1. And then switch 2 and then LED1 for LED1, I will insert a coil here and it will be L LED2 and LED2 will be turned on by switch 2. It will be switch 2 here, but switch 2 will turn off LED1. So I will insert a normally closed contact here, and this normally closed contact will be for switch 2. And then for LED3, I will insert a coil here and a normally open contact. So I will assign address to it as Q0.2 that is LED3, LED3 that is Q0.2 and then LED3 will be turned on by switch 3. So I will select switch 3. But this switch 3 will turn off LED2. So here I will use a normally closed contact here for LED2. So I will assign address to it as I0.2 that is LED3. And then LED4 will be turned on by switch 4. So I will insert a coil for LED4. So I will select LED4 from the list and LED4 will be turned on by switch 4. So I will insert a normally open contact for LED4. Sorry, for switch 4. But the switch 4 will also turn off LED3. So I will insert a normally closed contact here for LED switch 4. So I will choose switch 4 here. 
So here what happens is that when switch 1 is turned on, LED 1 gets on and when switch 2 is on, LED 1 gets off due to this normally closed contact but it will turn on LED 2. And then when switch 3 is turned on, LED 3 gets on but this switch 3, sorry it was, uh, it is switch 3, switch 3 but this switch 3 will turn off LED 2. And then when switch 4 is turned on, it will turn on LED 4 but here as normally close contact is here, it will turn off LED 3. So let's now uh, start the simulation. I will click on this option to start the simulation. And then I will start CPU. And then I will click on this option to monitor on and off. And then I will click on this to start the project view. So let's create a new project here. And then let's go to simulation table and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tags. So all the tags are here. Switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4 and LED 1 to 4. So let's start the simulation. So first of all, when I turn on switch 1, LED 1 gets on and then and then when I turn on switch 2, without turning off the switch 1, LED 1 gets off and LED 2 gets on. And then when switch 3 is turned on, LED 2 gets off but LED 3 gets on. And then when switch 4 is turned on, LED 3 gets off and LED 4 gets on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.